Gary was telling me he had the worst two weeks of his life. What? Yeah, I tried to cheer him up. I said, I said to Gary, you know, here's your problem. Your problem is you have good weeks. You should be like me. <laughs> Every week is a bad week. And I never, I, I don't feel anything because I just expect it to be bad. Robin, I said to Howard, I go, did nothing good happen on this vacation? He goes, no, some of the good things happened. I go, but no good days? He goes, no, no, full days, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not a full day. Like, wow. A whole day of good? Oh, my goodness, you're so crazy. Anyway, what's going on with you? I'm concerned. And the short version is that I'm, I'm having a knee replacement in early August. I've, you know, I literally have no cartilage left in either knee. And now it turns out that I have what they call, uh, Robin, have you ever heard of an insufficient fracture? Oh, I guess it. Ha I guess it happens when there's no cartilage left. Right, the bones you just start to rub hit each other, and they and they, br and they break, they yeah. fracture. It's, it's just been so nuts. I've been trying to do everything, but I'm not. I won't take painkillers, so they put me on um, Cymbalta, which is an antidepressant, which I thought was really weird. But apparently, I looked. The National Arthritis Society says it works really well, but there's nothing worse than putting someone who isn't depressed on an antidepressant because I think it made me depressed. <laughs> and now I really now I sleep. I, I slept almost all the vacation. I slept late every day. Oh. I would take naps in the middle of the day. How do you get around? You're not, are you using a walker or anything? No, no, but getting, uh, getting up and down. If you saw me going up and down the stairs, you would fucking laugh. It takes me about a minute to get down a flight of stairs. I have to hold on to the banisters and, you know, bring my, and then I go up one step at a time. You know what you want to get? You know that, that thing on TV, that chair that carries you up the stairs? Yeah. Oh, you yeah, get that. that thing that slides Believe up me. your wall. Yeah, it's like My a big kids. serving tray. <laughs> <laughs> How many doctor visits did you go on for your knee oh. surgery? Okay, so I need a total of seven visits to get the surgery. I had to go on four. So the first one was the dentist. The next one was my primary. The third one was the heart surgeon. The fourth one was an MRI. For your knee surgery, you had to go to the dentist? Yes, and I asked why, and the guy said that um, the biggest problem with the knee surgery is infection. And that some people who have bad dental hygiene could have an infection in their mouth and that could go through your bloodstream and could fuck up the surgery. So they just need to get a sign off that you have good dental health. And yes, I do have good dental health, Robin. Hmm. I didn't say a word. <laughs> I, was just I know what she, know. he knows what you're thinking. Cause I was thinking the same thing. I was like, yeah, you better be careful, Gary. Now who did your hair? Mary. I'm almost is, like feeling mohawk going on or something. No, no, no. <laughs> hey, you know, the oh, guy's okay. pretty down, Robin. He doesn't need you to <laughs> comment. He got his hair cut. No. Exactly. Hey, Gary, we hear you. We, you say Robin said teeth, to me, Robin? I hear Gary can barely walk. Let me goof on his haircut. <laughs> <laughs>